Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin to integrate the YouTube channel feed on the WordPress website. Let me show you an example of the YouTube channel feed. Here I have created a page on which I have integrated my YouTube channel feed. So whenever I publish a new video, it is going to show that video on the WordPress website. So this is the latest video on the channel. Below that we have the YouTube channel video feed in carousal layout. You will see the carousal here. Below that I have second layout. At the top we have the header section where it shows the channel details. And below that we have grid layout to show all the YouTube channel feeds on your WordPress website. So these are the recently published YouTube videos which are showing on this page. So basically we have created a YouTube channel feed on the WordPress website. Here if I click on load more, it will load more videos from the same channel. So we are going to integrate the YouTube channel on the WordPress website and we are going to show the YouTube channel video feeds on the WordPress website. For this, I'm going to use the WP Social Ninja plugin. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. So I'm going to start with the free plugin. I'll show you how to integrate your YouTube channel on the WordPress website using the free plugin. Later, I'm going to install the pro version of the plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to integrate the Instagram feed on your WordPress website using the same plugin, WP Social Ninja plugin. Using this plugin, you can also integrate Facebook, Twitter, YouTube feed. You can also show reviews from Google, Amazon, and Facebook. So if you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now let me show you the pricing of this plugin. So this is the pricing of the plugin. For a single website, it will cost you $44. For 25 websites, it will cost you $149. And for unlimited websites, it is going to cost you $249. And below that, you will see all these options are available in the single plugin. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. So let's see how we can install the free WP Social Ninja plugin to integrate the YouTube channel feed on the WordPress website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now I'm going to install a free plugin to integrate the YouTube channel feed on the WordPress website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for WP Social Ninja. So this is the plugin WP Social Ninja best social feed reviews plugin for WordPress. Click on install now and click on activate. So first we will install the free plugin and later I'm going to install the pro version of the plugin also. So the plugin is installed in the left hand panel. You will see the option WP Social Ninja. Click on it. Here you will see some free models that you can use YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok. Below that we have social reviews. Some of them are for the pro plugin. So let's go to YouTube. Click on it. Now we need to integrate your YouTube channel. And here you will see two different options API key recommended or OAuth 2.0. So API key is the option recommended. So let's select API key and we need to enter the API key. Here you will see read documentation, how to get the API key. So let's open it. You will see the documentation here, API key. Now, first of all, go to console developer.google.com OAuth. So I'm going to click on this link. I'll give you the link in the description box. You need to select your Google account. So I'm going to select the Google account, log into the account. Let's click on new project. We are going to create a new project here. And let's name it as YT channel access or let's say YT channel feed. Click on create. All right, let's click on select project. So you will see the project info is there. YT channel feed project number and everything will be shown here. Now we need API key. Let's go to API's overview. All right, now click on credentials. Here, click on create credential and select API key. And it is creating API key now. All right, so let's copy the API key. Close it. Now let's go to a library. Scroll down and 
we need to enable this option YouTube data API click on it and enable it all right so we have already copied the API key so let's go back to the dashboard enter the API key here and click on save and you will see that it is successfully connected all right now we need to create a template so click on add new template and here you will see different options free type will be channel playlist and all these options are only for the pro so currently we have channel option for the free plugin and here you need to enter the channel id for that you need to go to your channel and get the channel id so let me go to the channel view your channel and you will see a channel id here this is the channel id so i'm going to use that one so just delete this one and enter the channel id here click on fetch videos and you will see all the videos are there so we have linked our channel with the website and it is going to show the feed of the youtube channel on the website all right now let's go to templates here and you will see different options to select the templates currently it is using this template we have two more options but they are for the pro version only and let's go to number of columns let's make it four columns then we have column gap filters these are the filters if you want to add any filter you can add the filter video display title so it is going to show the title then we have display play icon you will see the play icon here so if you want to disable any one of these options, you can disable. However, I can see that these options are available for the pro plugin only. Let's go to header section here, display header. This is the header. If you do not want, you can disable it or you can enable it. So right now it is showing display banner, logo, the name, then other options are only for the pro. If you want to add custom banner, you can add custom banner here. Then we have subscribe button, option that is for the pro version again and pagination is there at the bottom all right so this is the template the style settings are only for the pro version if you want to rename it you can rename it youtube template let's say one save it now click on save template the template is saved and you will see short code to use this template so i'm going to copy the short code now let's go to the website let me go to pages and I'm going to create a new page. Let's name it as video tutorial. So I'm creating a new page here. I'm using Elementor on this website. So I'm going to use Elementor page builder to customize this page. We have published this page. Let's go to edit with Elementor. If you are using any other page builder, you just need to enter the short code on the page and it will show the feed. Let's add a new section uh, let's add some padding at the top and bottom. Search for short code, drag it and drop it here. Now enter the short code and update it. Let's view the page. All right, so you will see the YouTube channel feed is there. So using the free plugin, we have integrated the YouTube channel feed on the WordPress website. Now I'm going to install the pro version of the plugin. So let's go to plugins, click on add new plugin. I have it downloaded, so I'm going to upload the plugin. So select the pro plugin, install it. Click on activate plugin. Let's go to WP Social Ninja. All right, so here you can enter your license key and activate the license. Now let's go to platform. You will see all the platforms here and all the pro options are available now. Now let's go to templates. We have already created one template. This is the template, YouTube template one. Now we are going to edit this template. You can see that we have other options available. If you want to select playlist, it will show the playlist and you need to enter the playlist ID. So once you enter the playlist ID, it will show the videos from that particular playlist only. Then we have search, then specific videos. You need to enter the video IDs and it will show those specific videos only. Then we have live stream. You can enter the channel ID and show the live stream. So I'm going to select the channel. So it will show all the videos from the channel. It shows 50, so I'm going to make it 90 fetch videos. 
then we have template let's go to the templates option and we have two more templates available let's select this one and see this is how it will look this is the third template so this one does not look good so this needs i guess only two columns or you can use one column for this template so let's go to the template one this one looks good go back number of columns default column gap filters here you can use the filters you can also use hashtag hide post containing these words hide specific videos now video we have all the other options here display likes counter so you will see likes counter is there comments counter so it will show the comments display date so you will see the date also then display duration it will show the duration you will see the duration here display channel name so you will see the channel name is added for each video we have play mode inline gallery or pop-up uh, redirect to youtube so i'm going to select pop-up so it will open a pop-up let's go to header section and we have all the options available you will see the channel statistics are added there number of subscribers how many videos and this is the views counter for the channel if i disable it it will not show the views counter display description so it will show the description also from here you can add the customized banner now go to pop-up setting these are the pop-up settings whenever someone clicks on the video it will open the video in a pop-up and these are the pop-up settings then we have subscribe button so here you will see the subscribe button where do you want to show header footer or both so you will see the subscribe button added in the bottom also and this is the pagination you can add the pagination previous next or let's add load more and it will show load more option there let's go to style settings and here you can enable the custom style setting for the banner you can change the text color background color or the content color this is the subscribe button color you can change the color just like this so you can fully customize the header section box this is the box you will see the changes now all right so i'm just playing with the settings you can change the style settings according to your requirements this is for the typography you can change the size of the text just like this this is for the title then we have statistics these are the statistics description pagination and item box this is the item box let's try changing the background color you will see the background color change for the item box you can also add padding just like this so this one also looks good you can add border also let's add dotted border and width will be one pixel so you will see the border is added to the item box and this one looks good i'm going to save the template let's go back to the page refresh it and you will see the customized settings all right so it is showing only six videos so something is not good let's go to sources and total feed will be 90 here pagination let's make it 90 save it let's go back refresh it all right so you will see all the videos are there you will see load more when i click on it it will load more videos so this is how it works you can customize you can change the color combination let's go back and go to template we have grid layout here you can also use carousel so let's go to templates here we are going to create a new template click on add new template and this will be for youtube template let's add the channel id here all right so we have added channel id let's click on page videos all right so we have got the videos here let's go to template we have grid layout i can change it to carousel and here you will see templates for the carousel so i'm going to keep the same template you will see the carousel here then we have filter option again the same options are there you can go through these options now here you will see another option is added for the carousel so these are the carousel settings 
auto play speed slides to show slides to scroll and space between the slide you will see navigation is dots you can use arrows and dots so we have added arrow here and this is for the subscribe now again you can customize the style settings so i'm not going to make any changes let's click on save template and copy the short code let's go back to the page i'm going to add a new section here to show the carousal let's add some padding look for short code drag it and drop it here and add the short code here now you will see that the carousal is going to be added let's click on update Let's go back to the page, refresh it. You will see the carousal template here. Now I do not want this header. So let's go back, go to general header and disable the header. So the header will not be shown. Let's go back to the page and refresh it. And you will see the carousal here. We have arrows and dots to show the carousals. And below that we have the second layout so you can use any one of these templates to show the channel feed on your WordPress website. So definitely the free plugin has some limitations and using pro plugin, you can customize the YouTube channel feed for your WordPress website. So if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link to buy this plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.